Have you ever pondered what makes a diamond so valuable? It's a question that has fascinated gemologists, philosophers, and dreamers alike. A diamond, though merely a stone in its raw form, transforms into a coveted jewel through a fascinating journey that is both arduous and time-consuming. It's not merely about its size, although larger diamonds undeniably command higher prices. Nor is it about its color, even though certain hues, like the dazzling blue or the mysterious black, do hold a unique allure. It's about its rareness, its uniqueness. Each diamond, with its intricate network of facets, tells a story of millions of years. It speaks of an extraordinary journey from the depths of the earth to the glittering display case in a high-end jewelry store. Then, there's the effort it to uncover its brilliance, to chisel away at the rough edges to reveal a stone that can refract light in mesmerizing ways. Now, think of this in terms of human potential. Just like diamonds, we too often remain hidden in the rough. Our true potential obscured by layers of self-doubt, societal expectations, and fear. Similar to the painstaking process of cutting and polishing a diamond, personal growth too requires immense patience, determination, and courage. Now imagine if you could apply the same principle to yourself, to unveil your worth and make people value you more. Strategy number one, know your worth. This principle requires you to grasp the importance of recognizing your innate value, a task that necessitates sincere introspection. Start by examining your skills meticulously, those technical competencies you've honed over the years. Reflect on the comprehensive knowledge you've accumulated, the information that you've gathered and processed, your intellectual capital, so to speak. Then, consider your experiences, those unique situations and circumstances that have shaped your character and outlook. It's essential to identify your strong points, areas where you excel and can confidently apply yourself. At the same time, humbly acknowledge your weak points, areas needing improvement. After all, no one perfect. Understanding your worth isn't about conceit or overconfidence, but it's about developing a profound sense of self-awareness and fostering a strong essence of self-respect. Knowing your worth is not about arrogance, but about self-awareness and self-respect. Strategy number two, continually improve. That's it, the journey of life is perpetual and ceaseless, always driving us forward, always pushing us to be better versions of ourselves. Every day unfolds into a new opportunity, a chance to learn, a chance to evolve, a chance to break the confines of the known and explore the depths of the unknown. We are all students in the grand university of life, where every moment is a lesson, every experience a teacher. It is our duty, nay our privilege, to seek out these opportunities, to not just passively wait for them to come to us, but to chase them, to hunt them down, to relentlessly pursue the chance to enhance our skills, to improve our knowledge. We live in an unprecedented age of information, where knowledge is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. And not just any knowledge, but the right knowledge. The knowledge that empowers us, that makes us competent, that gives us an edge in this competitive world. By continually striving for improvement, by constantly seeking to learn, we not only become more skilled, we also become more valuable. We cultivate within ourselves a wealth of knowledge and experience that is not just beneficial to us, but also to those around us. And the more valuable we become, the more we have to offer. The more competent you become, the more value you bring to the table. Strategy number three, set boundaries. This particular strategy is often misunderstood, but it carries significant weight. Think about the concept of value. What is it that makes something precious? It's scarcity, isn't it? When a commodity is limited in availability, it gains more value. The same principle applies to you and your time. Your time is your most valuable asset. Now consider saying yes all the time. While it might seem like you're being agreeable or helpful, what you're inadvertently doing is diminishing your own value. Does that mean you should always say no? Of course not. It's about balance. 
It's about understanding when to say yes and when to say no. The ability to say no isn't easy, but it's necessary. It's part of setting boundaries. These boundaries aren't just physical. They are emotional, mental and temporal. They mark the limits of your comfort zone. When you set boundaries, you are asserting your self-worth. You're letting people know that your time, your effort and your abilities are valuable. By doing so, you're teaching others how you want to be treated. You're showing them that you aren't available 24-7, that you have other commitments and responsibilities. More importantly, you're showing them that you respect yourself. Remember, setting boundaries is about communicating your worth, not about being difficult or unaccommodating. It's about self-respect and ensuring others treat you with the same respect. When you set boundaries, you communicate your worth and teach others how to treat you. Strategy number four, be reliable. It's not enough to just say the words. It's absolutely vital to live by them, to be the person who can be depended upon, no matter the circumstances or challenges. This strategy, albeit simple, is often overlooked, yet it holds great power. Being reliable isn't solely about meeting deadlines or completing tasks at hand. It's about becoming the go-to person, the one that people can turn to in times of need or uncertainty. It's about fostering an environment of trust, cultivating it with unwavering consistency. Consistency, as most would agree, is a cornerstone in any relationship. It breeds trust, which is invaluable. People naturally gravitate towards those who are dependable. They place value on reliability. They celebrate and appreciate those who they can lean on. Because let's face it, in a world full of uncertainties, what could be more comforting than a promise kept time and again? So, always deliver on your promises and meet your commitments. Strategy number five, show empathy. Empathy, in essence, is the ability to walk in someone else's shoes, to feel what they are feeling, and to see the world from their perspective. It allows us to build bridges of understanding with those around us, connecting on a level that transcends the physical and enters the emotional realm. It paves the way for deeper, more meaningful relationships and interactions, fostering a sense of belonging and unity that is often lacking in today's fast-paced, disconnected world. When you embody empathy, you're not just acknowledging someone else's experiences, you're also validating them. This shows that you're not just a passive listener, but an active participant in their emotional journey. It establishes trust, encourages openness, and creates a safe space for dialogue and growth. Empathy isn't just about being nice or displaying kindness. It's about being human, being authentic, and being there for others in their moments of joy, pain, triumph, and despair. It's about showing that you care, that you're willing to shoulder their burdens and share in their joys. It's about making a positive difference in the lives of others one interaction at a time. When you understand and share the feelings of others, you become invaluable to them. Strategy number six, be unique. Just like a diamond, your uniqueness is your value. Embrace your individuality and let it shine. People value originality over a copy. Strategy number seven, practice gratitude. Appreciate others and the opportunities you have. When you are grateful, you radiate positivity, and people are naturally drawn to positive energy. To summarize, the seven strategies to make people value you more are knowing your worth, continually improving, setting boundaries, being reliable, showing empathy, being unique, and practicing gratitude. When you implement these strategies, you are not only increasing your value in others' eyes, but also enhancing your self-worth. Remember, you are a diamond in the rough, waiting to be discovered and appreciated. It's time to bring out your brilliance and make them value you more. Thank you for spending these seven minutes with us. Remember, it's not about proving your worth to others, but about realizing your own value. Life becomes more rewarding and fulfilling when you understand and appreciate your unique worth. So start today and let your value shine brighter than a diamond.